morning, everybody. It's October the 6th, 2024. We are in Galatians chapter 5, verse 1. That's right. We're going into Galatians chapter 5 this morning, and we're going to look at just verse 1 today. Paul writes, for freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. All right. Paul makes a wonderful declaration here. All right. A declaration of the purpose of Christ's work, and that is to set us free. And the freedom that Christ provides is not merely from the penalty of sin, but from the power and bondage of the law. And this freedom is a, a central aspect of the gospel, transforming our relationship with God and liberating us to live in his grace. So Paul exhorts the Galatians to stand firm in this freedom. And the call to stand firm, it implies vigilance and perseverance in holding on to the truth of the gospel. And it requires a, a conscious effort to resist the temptations and the pressures to return to legalism and any form of spiritual bondage. Now, the warning not to submit again to the yoke of slavery highlights the danger of returning to the law as a means of justification. The law, while holy and good, cannot save it cannot sanctify, it only reveals sin, and it reveals the consequences of sin. Christ's death, though, and resurrection have freed believers from the law's demands, enabling them to live in the liberty of the Spirit. So today, take a few moments and reflect on the freedom that you have in Christ and the ways that you might be tempted to return to legalism and other forms of spiritual bondage. Consider the importance of standing firm in the truth of the gospel and the freedom that it brings. Today, embrace the liberty Christ has given you and resist any attempt to place yourself under the yoke of slavery. Live in the joy and freedom of being a child of God and walk confidently in his grace. God bless you. Have a great day.